Sarita. I'm a, it's a beautiful day. Your Annie Alex is in prison, and I'm finally free, and it makes the world a better place. Emma? Oh, my God. Oh. Alan, oh, thank God you're here. Oh, I can hardly wait to get out of here and go take a bath. Mm -hmm. Um, Alexandra, the judge has denied your bail. I'm not going home. Well, not today. I'm, I'm sorry, not today. What? I can't stand it. Alan, Alan, I didn't sleep a week last night. I, I didn't sleep a week and look at me. I'm an absolute mess. Well, I have seen you look better, Alexandra, oh. but perhaps I will speak with the police commissioner. We can have some of your things brought over. Maybe your hairdresser can come. Oh, you forget my hairdresser, will you, please? You know, I've got to get out of here. Just L listen, listen to me. You are too big of a flight risk right now for any judge to allow you to go back on those you streets. You bribe one, bribe one. Alan, you remember what it's like in jail, don't you? There's not a minute's peace. And these people, where do these people come from? This is I want you, please, to just keep calm. Well, I can't calm, calm down. Not until you get me out of here. Come on, you've all I've got left out. You're in, you please. Darcy's gone. When'd she leave? When... Listen, man, I need your help. I'd be doing this if I could, but I can't. Okay? Don't worry, Chief. I'll put out an APB right away. Hey, Adam. I appreciate your help. I won't forget this. Don't you put me in a position where I have to do something about that. Aunt Harley, it's me. Just checking in to see if you're okay. I'm so sorry about yesterday. It's like we're cursed or something, right? Anyway, I know you must feel like crying right it. now, which is exactly why you shouldn't be alone. So call me, okay? Hey, sweetie. You're probably not answering the phone on purpose, huh? I wouldn't either. Listen, the boys are fine. My kids love having them here, and Mom said that she would take them all to the beach this afternoon. So call me on my cell. Anytime. Please? I was supposed to be at the beach on my honeymoon. tape, so. Harley, I know that you're there. I just want to hear your voice. Uh, if you just give me a chance, we can work this out. Please, can you just call me? Please. I love you. Hi. Oh, I didn't think you'd come to see me. I'm here. I called him, Alexander. I'd have come anyway. I hope the events of the past year remind you of the importance of forgiveness, Buzz. Why is that word forever attached to your family name? My sister is your friend. At least afford her the courtesy of hearing her side of the story. Alan, Buzz doesn't know me a thing. He's right. I want to hear. Excellent. I want to hear everything you have to say. Excellent. Well, now that the ball is Take rolling, away. I will leave. I will uh, see if I can get the hairdresser sent over. Frank, if not for the police union and your attorney, you would be in jail right now. You have been suspended. You cannot use the resources of this department for any reason. What is he doing here? 
Alan, this is not a good time. Why don't you go home? When the city runs amok with rogue cops holding innocent citizens at gunpoint? Frank, you be quiet. Alan, you go home. I want results. And I want justice. He owns this town, but it doesn't own you, Ross. Greg, it would not have been good if he had overheard you trying to use the department to find Darcy. I don't care, Ross. Darcy's gone. Come on, what would you do, Ross? What would you do if just Blake just got up and left? I understand you wanting to find her, but there are other ways. Don't jeopardize your job even further. I don't care about the job. Frank, I don't know what you're thinking or if you're thinking at all, but please take it from me. You need to talk to your attorney. So just go home. Don't force me to ask one of your officers to kick you out of here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, honey. What are you doing here, huh? You shouldn't be at work. Where should I be? At home, crying over the wedding that didn't happen. Yeah, but it's too soon, don't you think? I, just... I gotta stay busy. Give me something to do. Okay, all right. Let me finish up with Mr. Holt. Just go over here. And... Uh, sorry about that. Let me ask you. Why do you think your wife was cheating? I don't know. It's the feeling. I love her, but... I'm sorry. I mean, how do you know? I mean, you're supposed to trust, right? Excuse me. Um, time to take the blinders off, right? You should follow your gut instinct. If you can't trust the person you're with, maybe you shouldn't be with them in the first place. Well, but I love her. But nothing. Harley. Don't be stupid. Harley. No, it is pathetic and naive to keep going back no, and getting I'm hurt sorry. Thanks. over and over Thanks and over and over again. Understand. She, how many she, times are you going to let this happen? Oh. It's not your fault. Sorry. Okay, it's not your fault. Sorry. It's not your fault. Come on, Paul. Come here. Come here. Hey. It's me. <laughs> Remember me? I'm the guy that uh, ruined your wedding day? <clears throat> okay. Looks like you need a new tact. What? To win her back. The one you're using obviously isn't working. She won't talk to me. Well, Gus, come on. The guy who ruined your wedding day? You didn't honestly expect her to pick up, did you? I'm desperate, you know. I don't know what I don't I don't know what to say. Gus, you know Harley. You know how tough she is, how stubborn she is. And you know how much you hurt her. Yeah. You're in for the fight of your life, but you can't give up. Mm. You gotta do whatever it takes. Mm banging my head against the wall, but I will. I'll bang it for as long as I have to. Let's hope there's a better, less painful way than that. I don't really think there is, unless I can, I don't know, go back in time, maybe. You're scared. What? You're afraid of being rejected again. No offense, but you, you were never really friends with Harley, so why are you trying to help us? <laughs> Because it's the right thing to do. What? Do you have a suggestion? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. I think you should get out of this house, and I think you should go and do something. Like what? Go, what? Like, like, talk to Blake. Or Cassie. Get her on your side, and she might help you out. No. After the way that Cassie looked at me, it, no. And plus, Harley wouldn't like that. That's a very Spalding-like thing to do. Okay, you know what? All's fair in love and war. Gus, come on. She loves you still. You know that. You gotta give it a try. Where's my baby? Olivia, what are I you talking about? Where did he take her? I, I'm gonna go. Uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck to you. You did this. You helped Philip steal my baby. Oh. Didn't steal Emma. What do you call it? He took her out of her crib first thing in the morning, and Thomas said they left for the airport. I know. Oh, God, I knew it. No, but I thought you knew, too, until just this moment. Thank you very much, Philip. 
For what? For leaving me to clean up his messes. Look, Olivia, I'm sorry that you didn't find out until this moment, but there is nothing to worry you about. You promised me. You promised me that you would never let him do this. It's not what you think. Check your email. What? Just check your email. Where are you going? I'm going anywhere but here. I don't want to be in the middle of this. You are in the middle of this whether you like it or not. No, I'm not. Not anymore. Ah, there you are. Hello, Olivia. How's the weather there? As you can probably see, it's gorgeous here. Where have you taken my daughter? Well, that's not important. Because as you can so clearly see through the miracle of video conferencing, it's practically possible for you to be right here with us. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Isn't that right? You want to say anything to mommy? You can't just take her anytime you want to, Philip. Oh, I think you need to reread the fine print in our divorce agreement. Like I said, you can't just take her. We never discussed any of this. I don't know where you are, how long you'll be gone. That's right. You don't. Do you know what the worst part is? I haven't even told the boys. How do I do that? What do I say? You'll tell them something. You will. In the meantime, they, they're great. They had a great time at our house last night, and my mother took them all out to the beach today, so... Well, I'm glad they're having a fun day. Because when they get back, I get to tell them that Mommy messed up again. We're not marrying Gus, and that life that they were so excited about is gone forever. You're wrong, okay? Mommy did not mess up again. That... Your kids don't need to hear that message. Stop talking like that, okay? Okay. Oh, what? Okay, you're gonna agree with me that easily? I'll just beat myself up later in private. How about you don't beat yourself up at all? Look, Gus lied to you for a really dumb reason. How were you to know that that was coming? Because he's a Spalding. It's in his genes. He's just like the rest of them. Could I just point something out to you? You didn't know that Gus was Alan's son when you got together with him. Whatever. Let me ask you this. If there was no Ross, okay? Th there's no Ross. Ross has never been born. Do you get involved with another Spalding? Do you? Say yes or no. What do you think? No, I don't want to hear what do you think, okay? We've both had equally bad times with this Spalding family, and I want to know, would you get involved with a Spalding, yes or no? Just say it. No, I would never get involved with a Spalding guy. Exactly. Think, but thank you very much, Mrs. Marler. You have just made my point. Okay, would you just stop? What am I going to tell my boys? They're tough. You know, kids, they can handle things. I hate this. Did a Darcy Matthews check into this hotel? Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't give out that information. That's okay. I'm the chief of police. I know who you are, uh, but I'm still going to need to see a badge. Is your boss here? Cassie Winslow? Uh, Mrs. Winslow isn't here right now. Uh, perhaps you could come back. You know, perhaps that you could... I just uh, came from the police station. Not a good day for the Coopers. Mm, Frank? Yeah. First his job, now Darcy's gone. Okay. Uh, you saw Frank? Ah, uh, yes, I did. He's uh, not in good shape. Is Alan pressing charges? Well, strangely, not yet, but he made it clear what he wants. I can imagine what he wants. He wants you to fire Frank. Oh, you're not going to fire Frank, are you? Listen, you guys, this is ongoing. I shouldn't be discussing it. It's all right. I, I understand, really. Will you call me when Holly gets back with the kids, please? I will bring them over. I did come here to work, actually. Harley, you take care. Yeah, I could use one, too. <laughs> oh, Ross, I'm so glad we have each other. No more lies between us. 
sure did take us a while to learn our lesson. I mean, I know it did me. Actually, you too. Oh, just the worst way to kill a relationship. I'm going to advise you to stay completely away from me because I am a man who's got absolutely nothing to lose right now. I was looking for Cassie. Friend. Well, you know what? She's not here. And Darcy's not here either. Do you know why? Because she left town, thanks to your family. I'm sorry about that. If your girl left you, if there's anything I can do, Frank's, let me know, okay? I think you've done more than enough. Frank, for what it's worth, I thought I was doing right by everybody. Spoken like a true Spalding. Now, you are so lucky you're not in jail with your aunt right now. I thought you were better than the rest of them. <laughs> what happened to you? I'm the same person you danced with the other night. Same person you wouldn't let walk away from you. I defended you. Why? Tell me why. Why did you do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what did happen. Well, there's an explanation. I don't know. I mean, I think it all started. I just wanted to get back here. I, I knew I had to make some sort of splash. So Alan could think I was somebody. Well, somebody. congratulations. You are somebody. You have a number to prove it. You lied to someone who was letting drugs hit the streets. No, I cut the drug pipeline off, Frank. You were going to let her walk away. You did everything you could to yeah, keep I away from her. I hated that for you. I, I didn't want that. But you didn't stop it. You didn't say one word when they took my badge away. When Ross sent me home in disgrace. I hated that for you, Frank, okay? So much so that I went to go see Salerno the morning of my own wedding to clear your name. Did you think it would have been a lot easier just to tell the truth? No, of course not, because that takes guts in class. And you have neither. You see, most of my life I was second to Alan. Our father, Brandon, made sure of that. Alan was the one to carry on the family tradition into adulthood. So selling drugs was a grown-up way to get on top. Come on, I didn't know anything about that. Brad made promises. He was brilliant. I gave him power. I gave him freedom. It was too late by the time I found out any drugs were involved. I don't believe you. You could have done something. And don't you think I tell myself that every day? I could have stopped it, Frank. But the lies, they got, they got too out of control. The point is that you didn't stop it. I never actually had proof that Alexander set you up, okay? You're a liar. Frank! 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 I wanted to clear your name. Okay? I never wanted to hurt you or Harley or anybody else. And that's the truth. Well, look, here we are. I lost my job. I lost my girl. You completely destroyed Harley's life, my dad. I think you caused some serious hurt. So these people threatened to hurt everyone I loved if I turned Brad in. I mean, he was dealing with the mob. I was terrified. But you played off it so well. You enjoyed the spoils of those games. Oh, God. I suppose I did. Part of the time I was spent pretending and it wasn't there, and the other part I spent trying to think of some way that I could stop it, and I, I made such mistakes, mistakes. Mistakes? I, can you understand? Can you understand? You can make one mistake, and it gets you in deeper and deeper and deeper until you don't really know who you are. Frank. Frank! Look, I would do anything I could to take that lie back and just come clean with Harley from the minute I got out of that wine cellar. I would. Don't you think it's a little late for that? Yes, I, yes. But I'm going to do whatever I can to make up for it. I saw that look on my sister's face when she saw you on that tape. There are some things in life you never forget. And some things you never forgive. Can you find any way to forgive me? Forgive you.
You are a sick monster. Watch your tongue. There are babies present. I thought we were done with these mind games, Philip. You're not going to keep me from my daughter, do you hear me? Olivia, relax. Keeping a child away from their parent is more your thing. That's not what I'm doing. Oh, God, my line is so old. So you really are on vacation? Yes, we're really on vacation. Gus offered me his and Harley's honeymoon bungalow. Sort of a spur of the moment thing. Such a shame. They would have had a wonderful time here. Guess I probably should have awakened you. Well, then you wouldn't have got to see me sweat, would you? And you know, speaking of sweating, I think I could use a dip in the pool. Don't worry. I'm keeping him out of the sun. When are you coming back? Can't hear you. You're breaking up. Say goodbye to Mommy. Enjoy your vacation while it lasts, Daddy, because you have just made a huge mistake. I know you're there. I can hear you. you never called me back. Hey, Hi. you know what? I really don't feel like talking. It's a little early for ice cream, isn't it? Rocky Road. Get it? <laughs> okay. I'll get us a couple of spoons. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. I saved the best for last. There's more? <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to play darts? This is no ordinary dartboard. Alex for 500? Uh, but I promise I'll find some way to make this up to you. I forgive you. I forgive you if we can caught up with Brad Green. We were trapped. <laughs> I can't judge. I, you know, I've done too many stupid things in my time. Thank you. But there is one thing I can never forgive. You hurt my kids. No one hurts my kids. I'm so sorry. I don't believe you. I don't think you are. I think you'd do it again if you had to. No. I would justify it. What'd you say to yourself? It's your family, not mine? You know what? Maybe I did. There are no excuses. And none. You ruined any chance my daughter had for happiness on her wedding day. And Frank? You strip him of everything. His job, his reputation, the woman he loves. You don't know what those kids had to sacrifice to get where they are today. They were knocked down all their lives. They only had each other to hang on to. But they kept on getting up. They get up. And they made it. And turned themselves into something, you know, better than anyone. And just... When it looked like no one else could ever knock them down again, you came blowing in like a tornado and flattened them. You took their lives. No, and... but your life. That's not about you. me. It's not yes, about it me. Yes, it is. It does involve you because you're trying to be strong. I can see that. You I need to defend them. You know, but I what love... kills me is I hurt you. I loved you. You came into my life. I thought I'd used up all my second chances. I guess I had. Oh, please. Please don't, 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 don't. Please just don't talk like there's no chance at all, please, please. I mean, you tell me what I can do to make this up. Do you tell me, do you tell me how I can make it right? Please. Let Frank off the hook. Confess to setting him up. Give him his life back. Well, if I confess, well, I could go to prison for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please, please don't leave like that. Uh, tell me again, would you? Why did I want this job? To help make every Springfielder's life more rewarding and prosperous. I said that, huh? Something like that, yeah. Well, that's certainly not what I did today. Well, 
You knew it wouldn't be easy. <sighs> yeah, I know, but Frank, he's been such a good friend for so long. I hate taking a hard line with him. I know, but you didn't have any other choice. Yeah, but Blake. He lost his fiancée, the woman he loves. I mean, if I had ever lost you, I wouldn't stop until you were back home. Well, you're not going to lose me. I should have been mayor of Oakdale. I don't know anybody there. <laughs> First rule of politics, you can't help everyone. I know that, but think of all the people that I know who are suffering right now. I mean, Harley, Frank, Buzz, Dinah. Dinah? Yeah, I've just been thinking about her lately. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, naturally. She's your daughter and all, but why now? No particular reason. We were just talking about helping people, and I've been wanting to help her for quite some time now. Have you heard from Dinah? I think I have to take this. It's a station. Ross Marler. Well, so what? Well, tell Miss Balding to have her attorney go through the proper channels, would you? Why can't... Never mind, I'll be right there. Dragon Lady want to see you? Uh, no, Dragon Lady demands to see me. Hmm. Bye. Bye. Well, I'm not going to give up, Frank. I love your sister. I guess we could stand here all day, right? It's not going to make much of a difference. You're right about that. Well, hopefully Harley will see it a different way. <laughs> Don't count on it. Cooper here. Did you hear from her? What do you mean you can't help me? Of course you can. I can help you, Frank. We're finished. Listen to me. This is about Darcy. I, I have... You know, I have a lot of friends at the Bureau. I can help get your girl home. I don't know, maybe you could help me talk, talk to your sister. <laughs> of course, your help would come with strings. If Harley sees you, she's going to come out swinging. And unless you want to make things worse, do her a favor. Stay away. actually feels pretty good. It's better than burying my face in the pillows. So you want to play again? Um, I don't think so. Well, how about some more ice cream? You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to stick the ice cream in the freezer before it melts all over the place. Oh, but thank you. Sure. Want me to get it? Um, no, I'll get it. From the office. Not really. Hey, I mean... How are you? I'm uh, fine. Why wouldn't I be? Right, me too. Did you impale them all or save a couple Spaldings for me? <laughs> I should have known. It wasn't my idea. They're too evil for me. Oh, hey, I don't mind being the evil one in the family. Of course, I did lend them to her, though. <laughs> Anyone want to take on the champ? I don't know. I... I... I think Aunt Harley wants to be alone right now. Oh, come on. I have my favorite spoon, my lucky dart, and uh, my two best girls. Somebody order a pizza? Thought you'd never get here. Oh, I miss all these happy faces. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you guys? I... Don't, don't. No, please, don't. Don't. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's eat. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Olivia, it's customary to uh, dress for breakfast here at the house. What's the matter, Alan? Temptation too much for you? Only the temptation to eject you from the premises. 
You can look all you want, you know, I'm a free woman. What do you mean, you're a free woman? I got my divorce papers. Philip gave them to me at the wedding. Well, they were good for Philip. I was wondering what took him so long. When will you be leaving the house? I don't know. We'll see. What could possibly detain you? I have to find a place to live, something appropriate for Emma. Well, I'll be happy to give you the names of uh, some brokers that, that I That would be lovely of you. Make a list. Be happy to. Oh, by the way, have you seen Alex since she's been in jail? Because I just want you to give her my love when you do see her. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Get her. Oh. Come on, Alex. Ooh. Look at you enjoying this. I thought for sure you would take the high road. Ah, uh, I see. And that be here for you? You gotta be kidding me. Besides, Marina and I have been kicking your butt at dark. Uh -huh. so, uh, uh, yeah, I do think, however, that... See, here uh, comes the high road. There's, there's no high road. I just think with, you know, Zach and Jude around, that maybe this might be a little too mean-spirited. So, I'm on uh, it, Chief. I mean, Dad. Honey, it's okay. He's gonna be reinstated. Uh, yeah, well, what I want to be doing is finding Darcy, actually. And I want to help you. Really? You got too much on your plate right now, sweetie. Frank? It's my turn to help you. Hey! Oh, oh, look at the monkeys! No, <laughs> no! Did you guys have fun at the beach? That was a tore down my sand cap. She did! Yeah, well, you know, bitterness sets in when you're outnumbered by boys. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh! Hey, Kevin, stop that! Or is that Jason? Blake, they're not identical. They don't even look alike. <laughs> I know. I, I think I might need glasses. Hey, I'll call you later, okay? All right. Take Thank care. you, Blake. Bye. Mwah. Who wants ice cream? Me. All right, get over here. <laughs> get over here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Before we have ice cream... Come here, Zach. I want Sit you by your Uncle here. Frank here. Come here, right. I want you Frank, right here, big man. Second. I want to talk sure. to you guys, okay? Right. Come here. Ice. You sit over here. <laughs> Okay, I want to talk to you before we have our ice cream. Where's Gus? Uh, Gus isn't here. If Harley sees you, she's going to come out swinging. So unless you really want to make things worse, do her a favor. Stay away. Yeah, you're in for the fight of your life. But you can't give up. Do whatever it takes. Oh, no, no, you think I don't know some of the rules around the police station. Well, I'll tell you, something. you're treating me like a common prisoner, and I am not a common prisoner. You just wait until my What's going on? Get a hold she of won't shut up until she sees you. Well, we have procedures you to take care of. I'm asking a she very simple thing, I didn't and I do. just dropped her off. That's all I'm asking. Alex, it's not a big What is wrong with you? Sorry, Ross, but I, well, <laughs> really have nothing to lose. Do I? What are you saying? Very simple. I want to make a deal. Well, you know how happy I am that you finally got rid of that woman. But just remember, these things take time and planning. Grandpa, don't you know me a little better than that? Then you do have something in mind. All of you may think that she's free. I actually have big plans for her. And she's not the only one. Alexandra, if you want to make a confession, I need to get Jeffrey O'Neill in here. Nobody said anything about a confession, Ross. You just said that you wanted to make a deal. Well, not that kind of a deal. I want to help Frank Cooper. Well, how generous of you. You're just a little late, though. Well, maybe for me, but not for Frank. Well, I had a feeling that he could survive this until he pulled a gun on Alan in public. And now I don't think there's anybody who can help him now. You guys know that um, Mommy and Gus did not get married yesterday, right? Well, it looks like we're not getting married at all now. Why? Well, because sometimes um, things keep people apart, even when they love each other very much. Well... But that doesn't mean that the love stops here. Because this house has a whole lot of love in it. Right, Marina? Oh, tons. <laughs> the house just won't be part of the family, but the rest of us will still be here. Yeah, and we're not going anywhere, I promise. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, we are a family, all of us, all of us, and and Uncle Frank and Grandpa and Marina, and we are going to be okay. Yes, we are. Mommy, are you sad? How could I be sad when I have the two best boys in the whole world in my arms? <laughs> right? Right. Can we have ice cream now? <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. Yes, wait, let me see dirty? your hands. <gasps> dirty hands. Yeah. Let's go to the Please go wash your hands. Let's go wash the hands. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, they are such good boys. You're going to be okay. They're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Yes, you that are. That was brutal. You're going to be...